Hello students, I will share an anecdote before starting my first topic of class 9 maths. Few years back, on the first day, when I entered the class, found students discussing about their families. I allowed them to continue with their discussion and kept on noting the observations quietly on the board. They discussed about attitudes, values and skills of their family members. Some of the students were from nuclear family and others from joint. They discussed about the members who would be always dreaming and living in the world of imagination. And at the same time, other members believed in reality of life. Some behaved in rational manner and others talked irrationally. A few had relatives who followed divide and rule policy and were left alone and others lived together happily. They analyzed the behavior of negative thinking people and positive thinkers. Suddenly, a student who was quietly sitting and listening to the talk said, Hey friends, I am a positive thinker and am very happy. I stay away from all negativity. I make friends with everyone. I am from a joint family and we all stay together. I could not stop myself from applauding at this answer, catching everyone's attention. I thank them for helping me to start my lesson and drew their attention towards the board. Can you think what they saw on the board? Surprised, they saw a number tree on the board depicting the attitudes and values of their family members. Yes, students, you can compare human attitude and skills with the number system. You can dramatize this concept as my students did after surfing the net for the properties of various kinds of numbers, writing, script, and using creativity. It is very interesting activity to clear the concept and integrate with other skills. Mathematics is all around us. The only need is to keep our eyes open and look at the things mathematically. From the family tree, you can easily make the number system tree. Let us now understand the number system in details with the help of number tree. Roots of the number tree are complex numbers with two branches imaginary and real numbers. Imaginary numbers are left alone. Real numbers are subdivided into rational numbers and irrational numbers. Rational numbers further are divided into integers and fractions, leaving irrational numbers on the side. Fractions are a part of the whole, so have no branches. But integers have two branches as whole numbers and negative numbers. Whole numbers can be classified into zero and natural numbers. You can very well observe that the branches do not have anything in common except their origin. Let's revise the number system again from beginning. We start the number system from counting numbers, also called as natural numbers. Zero combines with natural numbers to make the whole numbers. Whole numbers and negative numbers form integers. Fractions which are part of whole add into integers to make it rational number. Rational numbers can be written in the form of p by q where p and q belongs to integers and q is not equal to zero. We can also classify rational and irrational numbers based on decimal representation. Decimal representation of rational numbers is either terminating or non-terminating but repeating. And that of irrational numbers is non-terminating and non-repeating. Rational numbers and irrational numbers combine to give us real numbers. 
all real numbers can be represented on number line. Real numbers and imaginary numbers finally form complex numbers, which completes our number system. Now, we have some special symbols for some type of numbers to remember them. Now, natural numbers are denoted by N. Whole numbers denoted by W. Integers are denoted by Z. Rational numbers are denoted by Q. And real numbers are denoted by R. Real numbers can be represented on number line and in class 9 and 10, we are going to study about real numbers only. Hopefully, this connection of number system and family life clears the relationship between numbers. This anecdote will also help you integrate number system with script writing, drama, creativity, art, ICT, etc. The number tree will help you answer all the questions based on relations of numbers. Representation of number in the form of Venn diagram or flow chart will enhance your learning. I'm sure the number system concept is clear to you now. In the next lesson, we will answer the questions based on the real numbers and their representation on number line. Thank you 